So, uh, thank you all for chair. So, I'd like to uh, explain about uh, the development of the 3D radar scanning uh, system. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to uh, show about the uh, radar, uh, laser induced breakdown spectroscopy system. Uh, here, uh, I use the neodymium young laser. The power is uh, 15 millijoule per pulse, and uh, the durability is uh, 8 micro, uh, microseconds. And the Q switch, the uh, pulse operation is used. And also, the condenser lens is uh, used for focusing the laser laser's uh, power. And they uh, produce these two uh, uh, con uh, concentration methods produce uh, 10 over 12 watt per square centimeter uh, the uh, power density in the laser spot area. It is possible to uh, uh, generate the plasma, the all physical state, solid and liquid and gases. And the plasma emission is guided into the spectrograph, and the spectrograph is uh, a type of the turn and the grating is uh, 100 and 1,012, uh, 200 great uh, grouping per millimeter, and 3,600 grouping per millimeter is select selectable. Uh, the, uh, finally, the spectra are uh, processed by the three camera. A three camera is a, a consists of the photo electro conversions and the temporal uh, resolving by uh, voltage sweep and a micro channel plate and finally the phosph phosphor conversion and the uh, CCD camera. So we can obtain uh, the very um, uh, 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 very uh, short time uh, phenomena. Uh, time getting a uh, uh, temporal get, uh, set gate setting time is a few microseconds to 100 microseconds. And the, in the LIBS method, Rebus has the advantage, many advantage. And also, the Rebus has a disadvantage. One of the disadvantage is it is hard to uh, measure uh, the quantitative measurement. So we uh, the, uh, mm, we uh, proposed to use a micro droplet the sampling system. All the samples is confining within the micro droplet, and then uh, we focused on the micro droplet to uh, by the laser irradiation. Mm. Ah, sorry. And uh, so it, it is possible to uh, measure the whole kind, the entire volume of micro droplet. So uh, this is a schematic of uh, the LIB system using inkjet machine. Uh, uh, the laser is irradiated from here, and the condenser lens is focusing, focusing the laser beam. And uh, this area is a laser uh, focal point spot. And uh, here is a micro droplet inkjet machine. It is possible to generate the uh, uh, um, 35 micrometer diameter droplet. And it is pos also possible to uh, uh, the guide the, these droplet in the beam spot area. The beam spot diameter is 15 micrometer. So it is possible to uh, all the bone, entire volume of droplet is uh, guiding into the beam spot area. But however, the uh, fluctuation caused by the target emitting has uh, been still remained. So to establish, to find adjustment, uh, we uh, pro uh, propose the three-dimensional laser scanning system for LIDS system. So uh, today's presentation topic is uh, this uh, 3D scanning system. Uh, 
This is a schematic of the three uh, uh, laser scanning installed with the LID system. A laser uh, focal point is corrected by the 3D laser scanner is here. And the plasma emission is generated in the, uh, in the spaces. And each the plasma, uh, uh, plasma is again back to the, this scanner and guided into uh, this spectrograph so it is possible to if the, any object is exist in this area uh, the um, spectroscopy's observation is possible to uh, the um, it's possible uh, by this LID system and uh, this is a 3D laser scanning system uh, this is the specifications and uh, when the laser input from here up to down, the laser passes through uh, the, this tunable lens. And the tunable lens is controlled by the PC uh, passed through uh, using the USB connection. And uh, this laser is uh, also passed uh, through the half mirror. And then the galvan mirror is, uh, uh, is used for controlling of the two-dimensional uh, position. So, um, the tunable lens and galvan mirror co uh, controlling system is enabled to the three-dimensional adjusting of the focal point of the laser. And when uh, the plasma is generated, a part of the plasma emission is and a spectral data with the uh, range of visible light range are reflected by galvan mirror and reflected by the cold mirror. The cold mirror is only reflecting the range of the light uh, in the visible ranges. So, and uh, this is the interface of the 3D scanning system. I use uh, this uh, interface, the DD. A, a 25 port system and uh, this is a table uh, which uh, part is I connect I, I used this is only the monochrome on and the pulse operated laser are used the several pins remain free so we plan to use remaining pins uh, free pins in uh, future work employing the shattering uh, shutter signal or uh, some uh, blanking signal. And uh, this is the op operation test of the uh, laser, um, laser, point, uh, laser uh, derivation. The, that uh, green laser is the DPSS, uh, uh, the normal laser for just a guiding. And why the Galvan scanning system allows uh, scan speed as high as uh, 30,000 points per second. Effectively, uh, scan speed within the safety margin is under 10,000 points per second for accurate laser uh, spotting position. Uh, left the side is a dot pattern test, and the middle one is the uh, ILDA test pattern. Uh, this uh, scratch line is uh, uh, because of I didn't. Uh, Set the blanking signal. So, in case uh, we, if you use uh, the pulse operating laser, uh, the, this scratch is uh, it's possible to ignore. So, the final, uh, this is a uh, uh, DPSS lasers, and uh, this is a uh, laser pl plasma spot marking, spot marking by the Nelvinia laser. And it is successfully to um, generate the plasma uh, on the black paper. And uh, this is a spectroscopic test result. Uh, this uh, is, uh, I used the cold mirror as a half mirror. But uh, actually, the mirror reflects uh, reflecting the well, wave, but the part of uh, the wavelength, the uh, wavelength ranges. 
uh, it is the range is uh, 250 to uh, 300 to uh, uh, 50 nanometers wavelength light is uh, penetrate of the half mirror. It is a little uh, big problem, uh, but uh, it is also um, uh, uh, use uh, is possible to use to guide uh, guide the la guiding laser through the half mirror. And so we must care to obtaining the plasma spectroscopy. Uh, the we must choose from these uh, wavelengths, uh, 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 over the 450 nanometers and under the uh, 350 nanometers. And uh, this, the right, right side of the spectroscopy is, uh, is obtained from the air plasma spectroscopy. Uh, it is, uh, uh, um, the spectral uh, data is obtained from the Bremsstrang uh, uh, area. The Bremsstrang has uh, the white and wide, wide range of the wavelength uh, spectroscopy data. So it is possible to obtain the very narrow, uh, so sorry, the very wide range of spectra. So with the uh, penetration of infrared laser being operated at uh, uh, 1064 nanometer wavelength, intensity of plasma emission was uh, decreased to 86.5, uh, 86.8% 86 uh, of its original intensity on average. But it is possible to generate the plasma. So, uh, I, uh, it, um, the, the 3D scanning system is not so affected to the generating the plasma. So, and uh, this, the finally, I, I'd like to explain about current issues. The mirror were damaged during the experiment for testing LIVS operation. So the damage uh, was due to the particle deposition uh, and uh, contamination on the mirrors. So I must, the, um, the uh, carbon mirrors need to be improved to prevent deposition of dust particles in the air. And the another uh, issue is uh, the drug line is remain. So uh, it is better to uh, uh, adapt uh, the blanking shutter signal is, it is better uh, to uh, finish and uh, complete of this scanning system. And uh, finally, uh, a geometrical distortion is occurred. Uh, so, to avoid of these uh, distortion, the F zeta lens as a condenser lens is uh, suitable for uh, the, this uh, presented scanner. Okay, this is a uh, summary. Uh, the Galvan scanner can uh, operate it at speed between uh, 30,000 uh, points per second and 10,000 point, uh, 10, points per second for uh, uh, accurate dream, drawing. The scan speed was sufficient to uh, set focal point position for pulse operating operated high power laser. In the wavelength range of uh, 360 to 450, 50 nanometer, a part of the emission light penetrates through the cold mirror. Uh, four infrared laser being operated at uh, 1064 nanometer wavelength, intensity of plasma emission was uh, decreased to 86.8 percent. But it is enough to obtain the spectroscopic data. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.